All right, we are getting there one guardian at a time. So now we are on Cerberus. All right. It's kind of funny because last episode or the episode before that, I said we we're almost halfway done. And someone pointed out we're only a third ways done. So that's, that's pretty funny. But either way, we're up against Amuzinkov as Cerberus. Not the best matchup, but would prefer it over our mages. We're going to go Warrior's Blessing. Now, do I want to rush Boots or do I want to rush Bancrofts against Amazenkov? Let's rush Boots with a Health Chalice. So we're not going to have any damage early, but he, uh, he won't be able to kill us as easily because we'll be able to run away. Okay, I need to move my keyboard. What is up with this? Hello? What happened to my setup? Okay. There we go. Okay, so with Cerberus, one thing you can do is you can put two points in the one for extra damage early game. Or you can put two points in the two because the two is more like consistent, easier to hit damage. I think I'm just going to go for the one here though because I'm not looking to poke out AMZ since he has way more sustain than me. Look at that, you got Blackthorn Bracer. However, I can clear the wave easier. Try and apply some of those protection shred to a little bit of everything. And he's already got a... <laughs> he already took the wave. Tier 2 Blackthorn. <laughs> uh, AMZ, AMZ, AMZ. We got most of them. Half his health, but he's just gonna sustain that up. He doesn't have MP5 with this build, so if I can like bait out as many abilities as possible, he will run out of mana before me. As long as I keep getting my warrior blessing procs. Mainly want to get the gold from the archers. Can't get the gold from everything though. Kill as many hives as possible too. Um, luckily, his autos doesn't do too don't do too much damage with that build. Oh, it is really difficult to stop him from clearing though. I'm already out of mana. I have to auto attack him. I got his all back. That sucks. Uh, this start bro probably isn't the best start on Cerberus. Mage's Blessing or Special Blessing gives me the MP5 I need, but I need, I kind of need to survive AMC's damage and his poke damage with his, uh, with his bees and stuff. So that's what the Warrior's Blessing's for. Since he doesn't have beads, if he tries to, like, get even close to my tower, I can, I can pluck, you know, throw him into tower with my ultimate. And that could be super helpful. I don't know how helpful, though. He's already back in. He didn't place a hive over here. Interesting. The important thing is he doesn't have first blood. He has like almost 500 gold ahead though. Cerberus is not one of my favorite guardians. And he's gone. He's gotten worse since I made the Cerberus duel video. So that kind of sucks. But that's okay. He's already got his Blackthorn, probably boots, some some form of boots. That's not good. Yeah. Blackthorn is so OP, man. Blackthorn is so OP. Alright, let's see. I kinda want him to come closer so I can throw him into my tower. Stun him? Good? Good stuff. I had to back up there to make sure that it stunned him in my tower. So I ulted him, threw him as far back as I could, slowed him with my two, but then I had to back up. That way I could stun him at the very edge of my tower so he would stay in it. Perfectly, perfect, perfect. I don't even know. Perfectly something. <laughs> and that puts us in the lead. Alright, let's start working on Breastplate. Or maybe Nemean. I usually go Breastplate on Cerberus, but Nemean could help out a lot against AMC.
We'll have to see. Oh, he missed that completely. Good damage. Even though I don't have any abilities, we should be able to kill him just in a few seconds. Oh, unless he's smart to run. There we go. The protection shred is really helping us out. He's like barely mitigating anything. This is this is really good. This is really good. Yeah, I don't ban AMC uh, because he is winnable. Uh, he is one of the best gods in duel, but it's winnable. Whereas like these other mages, they're not always winnable. And people criticize me on my bans all the time. Oh, that's bad. For you know, my cooldowns are so long. That's really gonna hurt. Okay, his ult did not actually go off, by the way. And if he backs here, then I just get red buff. So, um, that is really his decision. Okay, it looks like we get red buff. Unless it takes me forever to kill these minions. Ah, oh, screw it. That took way too long to kill those minions. Oh, he's going to be back here in like three seconds. I should be able to get it, though. There we go. Okay, he missed. Good stuff. He missed. Let's try and get him into our tower. No, it looks like he's not going to fall. He got a little bit smarter. Heal with our three? Okay, okay. I'll still probably want Bancroft's late game. It just depends on if he gets anti-heal or not. I probably kill my next round of abilities. I also have my bracer, so I should be okay. I should heal a lot, lot off of this. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, but I should heal a lot. There we go. Yeah, so one thing people don't know about Cerberus, and a couple of comments pointed this out last time I played Cerberus or whatever, is that um, when you ult and they're up in the air, you can use auto attacks, you can use abilities, you can use any of those. That wasn't always the case. It used to be, I think you could only use one of your abilities, but they changed it so you could use all your abilities and your auto attacks. Or maybe you could only use abilities. But either way, you can use both. That's the important thing. Since we're ahead, we'll actually go Breastplate instead. Start working on a Spirit of Mages. There's a special emote for this skin, by the way, in case anyone hasn't seen it. Yeah, this guy's going Blackthorn full defense, so, you know. Yeah, we'll get anti-heal for sure since he has Bracer. He'll probably get anti-heal as well, so maybe we shouldn't go Bancrofts. But even if your opponent has Bancroft, I mean, has anti-heal, Bancrofts is still good because of the amount of power it gives. It gives 200 power when you're at, like, 25% health. That's insane. Okay, his movement speed is getting pretty crazy right now because he's leveling up the hives. I would like some percent health damage too. This guy has a lot of health. He's a level under me and he has more health than me. I juked it. Oh, I don't want him to pick it up, but I don't have the cooldowns. Come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. He could have went for it, but I don't think he... No. Okay, that's fine. Oh. 
It's really hard to kill him just with the amount of HP he has. As I get more items, it'll be nice. Soul Reaver's not great on Cerberus, but we might have to get it. Oh, hello. I'm on 15 seconds. I might be able to keep him staying. Bait him into my tower or something. He might think my ult is down. Come on. Come on, AMC. Nah, this guy just does not want to fight me. All right. Well, time to back in that case. Start working on Divine Ruin. I could get Blink or I could get Thorns. I'm going to save my Relic for now. Because Thorns, yeah, he has magical protections, but reflecting AMC's damage is pretty good. The, the reason I want Blink is because he's running away a lot when he's at half HP, and that's the exact amount of HP I need to kill him, you know? Cerberus cooldowns are so high. I have 30% cooldown, man. Still, it's not enough. Oh, you should not have come back, AMC. Should not have come back. Oh, he uses beats. Okay. That's fine. Is he going to stay for this buff, though? Or is he not going to fight me? Nope, he's not going to fight me. Cool. All right, AMC. You're lost. Oh, one more thing. In last episode, uh, there's a there's a hero minion. I asked you guys what we should name it, and there's a lot of responses. Uh, my favorite is George, because Ymir says, I will love you and squeeze you and call you George. That's a reference to, was it? Oh, God, I can't remember. I know. <laughs> okay, I don't remember the reference right now, but I, I, I assure you there will be a lot of comments of what the reference is. But either way, Ymir says, I will love you and squeeze you and call you George. So that's what we're going to go with. If there are any hero minions. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous. Time to go. Time to go. It's a little bit dangerous. Even without his hives, he is so fast. Oh, barely. He almost juked into it. Almost. Oh, is this going to be a Bumba Smash game? I'm going to have to go movement speed against this AMC. He just backs after everything. But hey, I have most of the buffs, so I'm fine with that. Okay, time to go. Can we afford Divine Rune? Yes, we can. I'll get Blink. I'll get Blink. Blink is kind of hard to use against AMC because of his Bs, but I think in this situation it'll be okay. Sprint? I used to love Sprint, but it only gives 20% movement speed now. It's just not enough. It used to give 40%. Give me 40% Sprint back. He did get anti-heal. All right. Take as many buffs as possible. Gives us more XP and gold lead. Nice. Yeah, so if they are low enough where you know that Cerberus 1 will kill them, which is, you know, a quarter of their health if they have this much defense, because it does a ton of damage then it's best to just ult and, and hit the one. You know, you're guaranteed to hit the one as long as they don't beads or anything like that if you ult. Um, if they're not low enough, then it's probably better to try and use the stun to your advantage. Because if you're ulting, if you're hitting them with the stun while they're in the air, they're already CC'd, so you're kind of wasting your CC chain. 
using your two into your one, it's not hard to hit, but you know, there's a chance you can miss it. But if you hit it, wait for the stun to end, and then you ult. You get a lot more damage, and you can kind of buy yourself a lot of time for your cooldowns to come back up. But, you know, that's useless if they're just dead anyways. Maybe it should go into me in. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably go into me in. Double defense here. Last item could be multiple things. We get Soul Reaver, and then Rod. We get Soul Reaver, then Polly. We could get uh, Polly, Rod. There's a lot of items that could be good here. That is about half his health. Oh, this guy. He has his beads. I'm just going to get his beads, honestly. Or kill him. <laughs> I was I was pretty much just going to go for it, and if I miss the one, just leap out. But since we didn't miss it, we got him. And we got his beads, too. So next time ult's up, he's, uh, we can guarantee half his health. Oh, yeah. And important thing, it's always good to use your two first because Spear of the Magus stacks with my protection shred on my two. And if I use it, his protections go down, like, drastically. Like, I think it's, like... 92 protections I think doing some quick maths all right yeah we're gonna need polynomicon if we want to take that tower or that phoenix time to go all right we have Nimi in I'm gonna upgrade my bracer right now and then we are going to save up for Polynomicon. Then I can sell my boots for a Soul Reaver or a Rod of Tutti, whichever one I'm feeling. Since he doesn't have lifestyle, I'm more tempted towards... Uh... Wait, what am I talking about? Not having lifestyle. I already have Divine Rune. Since he... <clears throat> Since he has 2000 HP, that's what I was trying to say. Oh my god. Uh, Soul Reaver might be nice, but Soul Reaver starts getting better at 2000 HP. Like, that's the bare minimum. When they're over 2,000 HP, that's when it's, like, yes, yeah, Soul Reaver. So if he builds one more defense item that gives health, we will get Soul Reaver. If not, we'll get Rod. Ooh, I missed. I whiffed that. If I hit it, I probably could have ulted. Uh, threw him out of Phoenix. Uh, Bracer for extra cooldowns and then kill them. But oh well. What's my ping at? 100? Okay. Delayed autos. A little bit weird. He's at movement speed, man. Uh, this guy's just gonna sit in Phoenix. Maybe we should just uh, try an XP tonight. Also, I'm like teleporting right now. That's not great. It's not great. He's trying to get his blue buff. I'm not going to let him. Got my upgrade bracer. Oh, I'm lagging like crazy. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that lag was about, but uh, it was a little scary. A little bit scary. All right, let's just blink over this buff to clear wave. That way we can uh, push. I don't have that many minions, is the problem. Okay, let's go. Okay, get out, go back in. Now that my other minions are there. I should be able to get this. I might die for it, but I'm going for it. I'm committing. All right, you missed. I'm just out. Hopefully stun him if I need to. Well, oh, I missed. Go! Go for it! Yes! <gasps> the bees! Not the bees! Okay. 40 HP. And we're out! Okay, good. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, let's get that poly. I mean, now that Phoenix is down, I don't really need Poly. Poly is mainly for Phoenix. Like, killing Titan is so much easier than killing Phoenix as a Guardian. 
But it'll it'll still be nice to have. After my combo, I can hit him with the poly shot. Can I get this as well? No, he took it. Okay. What is with these these little lag spikes? Hello. I can't see where I'm going. I'm th hello. My ping is not that high. This should not be happening. I better not lose this game because I teleport into his fountain or something. He has so many hives in his base. All right. All right. Yeah, keep keep base attacking while I'm twice the range out. Uh, he's getting executioner titan spain. All right, fair enough. I have double defense. This guy's beats. I almost killed him as well, but got his beats. Next time, you know, he won't, he's not going to have those. If you hold on to your alt way too much, too many times when they have their relic up, it's like you'll never have a good chance to use it. So sometimes you just got to just use it just for the relic. That's it. Not really doing much damage to AMC right now, so let's just do damage to the Titan. This guy is sitting really hard. We almost have our ultimate. Oh, I missed. That's tough. Okay, missed again. Very nice. And I'm kind of low HP, so we actually got to go. His Phoenix is coming up really soon. Upgrade Bracer to get my two up again. Perfect. Very nice. I love Upgrade Bracer. Okay. Okay, we need to get this with the Poly Shot. Okay. That's game. That should be game. He's dead for 30 seconds. Oh, but I don't have that many minions. Should be fine. I'll Polygon Con. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yes. Okay. GG. 7-0 against AMC as Cerberus. And you know what that means? We are past Kabrak and Bacchus Cerberus. So and we're now in Fafnir. Fafnir I feel very confident on. I have a very high win rate with Fafnir. So um, hopefully we don't have to go back below to these gods. Uh, so this is really good. GG. Another good game for the Guardian Gauntlet. All right, let's look at our, uh, where is it? Let's look at the G Guardians real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I forget that you can just do this, whoops. All right, so we're on Fafnir. So now we're almost 50%. How many Guardians are there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So at Geb is halfways, right? So pretty much right here. So we're almost halfways. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy with that game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you are watching this as it goes live, I, I will probably be live on twitch.tv slash hatmaster if you want to stop by. And yep, that wraps it up.